Greetings, YouTube. This is BJ Black, and welcome to part 40 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. We're starting out chapter 5 now. We've had a few cutscenes, and we've got a few more. Now, let's point out. Eo's icon here has the hearts icon, which means this is a sex scene. I'm cutting these for the most part, but I'll tell you a little about this. So it's nighttime, and Eol is stealing in to Avaro's bed. Eo is resting her chin on something that is pleasantly pumping, and she considers this a good sign. So she wants to see it and taste it. All right, this is ridiculous. But she is so ridiculously cute. But I'm going to cut now. All right, so they had sex, and they fall asleep in each other's arms. Isn't that sweet? This one doesn't even have the after talk like the previous one. Oh yes, this one. So, case near start work in one of the public areas again. This time, she stumbled upon a kid who had bought some groceries and dropped them on the ground and ruined them. So while he's crying, she gives him some money and pets his head and sends him off. Alright, so he needs to take care and carrying groceries. So, see you later. And I've always come and seen this. So we get to talk about it. She's got such an older sister feel to her. Well, Avaro always seems to witness her doing these kinds of things. Well, this is something that she tends to do a lot, right? Fia has her own way of helping people, but Kisner kind of looks at the little things a lot. So, she wants to contradict him a bit and admits she has an ulterior motive in helping people. Really? Let's hear it. Doesn't seem like she got anything from that kid just now. She helps these people because receiving their gratitude makes her heart feel light. Yeah, that's pretty nice, isn't it? No, that's not it. That's not it at all. So... This starts a bit of a conversation. Well, 
that she goes out of her way to help other people is, on the one hand, an order from her late lord and her atonement. Well, that's pretty heavy. So, Avar already knows that she's not from the Influus Kingdom, right? Yeah. She came traveling in from somewhere else. So, does he not feel it odd that she didn't stay working in her home country and for whatever reason came to this one? True, it's easier to work as a soldier if you're in your home country. She originally came from Mentekia Protectorate. It's off to the southeast across a distant ocean. I've looked at a map, I don't know what ocean she's talking about. So, in that place, she worked as a soldier as well, and she thought she would spend her days wielding her sword for people, but that wasn't how it turned out. So, because okay, this the her late lord, whom she had really fallen for, ended up dying because of her immaturity. You mean you failed in some mission? Yep. Yes, her duty was to protect him. He was an important person in the kingdom, and for that reason, a number of other parties targeted him. So, her duty, her number one duty, was to protect him from such people. But some of those assaults were different. The villains behind it had a lot of people and they started attacking indiscriminately. So the people whom her lord managed were facing a lot of hardships themselves, directly rather than indirectly. So she was supposed to protect him and not go off on her own, but she, because she wanted to help the people, headed out to help them, huh? Yes. And her lord also gave her permission. Quote, Wield your sword to help as many people as possible. End quote. So that was his final order. And although it should have been obvious that the people who were being harmed was simply to draw his guards off of him.
So, they deliberately, or rather, she completely fell into their objectives. And by getting too far away from her lord, eventually, the others were overwhelmed and he was fa- and his defenses failed. Well, still, she, she did get permission, he thinks to himself. But, even if that's a reason, he realizes he can't really just say it. So, failing in protecting her lord, she was questioned with her responsibilities and ultimately rejected from the army and furthermore exiled. Well, it's also a case sometimes that they are to lose their lives, probably a reference to seppuku, but but because her standing order didn't include that, she didn't even get to do that. So, she hasn't got permission to do anything but to wield her sword for as many people as possible. So this is why she can't leave people in trouble alone. It might be best to say that her body simply moves on its own. So, even now, her heart is kind of overwhelmed by these problems, by her past. So, in her chest, there is still that swirling regret for her actions back then, when she strayed too far from her lord. <laughs> so, she's given him a boring story. Feel free to forget it. Well, no. I'm always glad to have these talks with her. After all, we're getting to know each other a bit. Hmm. Well. She just teases him a bit. But... I guess she's happy to get this off her chest. Well. Hopefully you'll be able to find your a new place here in Influs. So, thanks. She wants to be able to meet her lord with her held, held, head held high, so she's going to continue fulfilling this duty of hers. That's a pretty harsh backstory. Let's see. Deed Helm or Mystery Person. 
Mystery person. So, a merchant caravan happens to arrive from the north, and thinking there might be something interesting in it, Avaro goes to take a look. But at a certain carriage, he sees someone. This is a familiar and nostalgic face, so without thinking, he runs right over. Greetings, old guy. Ah, oh, funny, you didn't have those bandages before. So. <laughs> Alright, so. As he heard in rumors, Avaro was doing pretty well for himself here. And yes, the rumors are pretty well true. He's doing well. How's the old guy? Yeah, so they got caught up with his Well, he's had it rough, actually, as we can see. In addition to the arm, it says he's also got a problem on his right leg. <laughs> So he got attacked by monsters, and while he managed to keep his cargo stuff safe, he's been a bit under the weather. Hmm, yeah. So you came from the north, huh? Up there, there, there are a lot of effects from monsters and such. Perhaps you shouldn't have tried that. <laughs> well, in any case, up around there, he heard the rumors of the castle, and he was saying that Avaro might take him on. All right then, you want to stay here? Stay here as long as you like. So while the two of them are talking from behind the carriage, a small girl comes carrying some of the luggage. Jiji-sama. That's one way of t speaking to people. It's actually reminiscent of the way she referred to her father as Toto-sama. Anyway, where does he want these put? Ah, Katorito. Katorito, right over there. Okay. And she stumbles. No, oh, come on. Careful there. So, Havaro catches her when she stumbles. And... She's a bit like a beast man. Now... Avara thinks she's a bit like a beastman, and she bows and runs off without saying more. Grabs more of his uh, merchandise. So Avara asks old guy what that was. Oh, well, they met up while he was on the road. And now that he's got these injuries, she, he's helping her. She's helping her him out. Ah, uh, no, no, wait, wait. That's not the problem. He saw the tail, he saw the wings, and clearly, that's one of the dragon men. In that case, this is extremely odd. Well, how are you going to say that happened? You were just happening about and this lost child came up to you? Is that what you're saying? Yes. 
Basically, yes. She was lost, and he picked her up. Avaro wants to call him a liar, but he can tell he's not. Which means... Okay, I'm gonna spit it out here. Isn't this a bad thing? How so? Don't play dumb. This is a girl who shouldn't be... who's so long, young that she shouldn't be away from her parents. And this is... extremely rare. So... He is going to draw problems to himself by trying to protect her. Well, Avaro doesn't want to have to say this, but he asks, did these monsters attack you because that child was with you? That's one speculation, and he hears something dropping at that point. So, she dropped something, and she apologizes to the old man. It doesn't say whether she dropped it just because she's a klutz, or she dropped it because she heard what Avaro said. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, Katsurito. Eh, perhaps he'd like to say that. But his right leg flares up and he falls. Hey, are you alright? Yeah, <laughs> he says he's alright. This much is nothing to him. Jeez, don't play like you're fine when you're obviously not. But on the other hand, he's trying to keep a strong face up for Katorito, obviously. Avaro goes to help, and Katorito flinches away from him. Yeah, seeing her up close, it's definitely one of the Dragon Tribe. So, Katarito, huh? Don't worry. Avar here is one of the old man's friends. And have a look. Since Avar is a half elf, he is a bit different from most humans, so. In any case, they'll be able to stay here. Yep, as you can see, he's an accomplished craftsman and a bit stuffy. Hey, leave off. So, as long as you're here, you don't need to worry about other people watching you. I've always going to prepare a place for you and the old man to live, so relax and make yourself at home. Hey, he wasn't planning on having you go through all that trouble. Hey, it's fine. This is my castle. So a house? Where the two of them can live? Yep. And as long as the old man here is recovering his... You know in the text they only mention the leg? Anyway, as long as his leg is recovering, 
Avaro will help take care of him. Yeah, yeah, can't you keep an eye on him? So come on, the men don't meet him around for the whole day. Need to wash him. Hey, don't go deciding everything all on your own. He hasn't got so old that he needs to be taken care of that much. All right, already. Be quiet and accept this, will you? You are injured, and it'll be easier on Katorito if somebody is willing to help you out. She has to agree. Hmm. Ma, tashikani. Sono hong ga washi toshite mo tasukare ga na. He does have to admit it when he's being frank that that's a big help for him right now. Then it's decided. So if you're going to say that you, it bothers you to be taken care of like this, why don't I have you? Why don't I put you to work from time to time? She says she'll do it. Except Avaro was talking to the old guy. Eh? Yep. He was saying it to the old guy, and she just decided to respond. Oh, Avaro! You want to work with this girl? Avaro, do you actually plan to put this child to work? Uh, no, he doesn't. Avaro, do you actually plan to put this child to work? Uh, no, he doesn't. And furthermore, he was a bit joking when he said it to the old man. And she says she'll do it again. She does want to be useful to the old guy. Well, the two of them look at each other, and if she's decided, I guess we got to go with it. All right then, let's do this. <laughs> oh, Fia heard. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, she knows what's going on. Fia has a history of molesting underage girls. <laughs> so Fia I jumped out. Oh, did she hate me? Well, don't jump out out of nowhere all of a sudden. I, and anyway, how long have you been listening? She started listening about the point where the old man called Avaro all stuffed up. And that's mean. Avaro is so cool after all. Ha. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Calm down a bit. You're scaring Katorito. Ah, so that. Katorito-chan, I am Fia, Kami-sama. A little bit kinder, gentle introduction. Introduces herself as a goddess. So yeah. Although Katorito kind of peeks out from behind the carriage and all, she comes out. Oh uh, god, huh? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, she's cute. We've got another cute girl with us. Please don't molest this one. So, this is how Katorito came to live in the castle. Ah, oh, this should be good. Another party member. We didn't even have to do anything for it. Oh. This is the old... The old mechanic's house. Hmm. Hey, why didn't he join my party? Okay. So, this is how we're going to be doing things. First, let's find out what you're good at. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, she doesn't have any particular talents for which she apologizes. Uh, the apology is not necessary. Anyway, anything you want to do? Anything? Well, so, she'll do anything, even though there isn't much she can do. <laughs> well, it's the thought that counts. Although she's not giving him much to work with. And furthermore, she's even smaller than Mikeu and Neo, so she might be hard to feel in battle. But Avaro thinks of something. Her being one of the Dragon Tribe, she should have a lot of power in her, somewhere. And if we can draw it out... Yeah, his gears are turning. So he's going to make some things which will help her fight in battle. And furthermore, since her being useful is a big help to the old man, she's really happy. So, leave the crafting door of our. He'll make something good for you. Hmm, this could be interesting. Oh, this opens up a new map in the Raoga Uragaru Twin Peaks. That's odd. Uh, an old ruined mine. Alright, let's ignore Dean Heldman and craft some things. Let's see. First, we'll start with these weapons for Katorito. Probably I'll make that too. There is not much that Katorito can actually use. Hey, she can... Wait. Rishu and Seili can't equip shields. She is the twin shield princess and she can't equip shields. Okay, whatever. I guess after a fashion she's always got shields equipped. Alright. Let's just start from the top. Boy, I've got a, such a backlog of new things to build. Although I have a couple of those already. Hmm. Holy resistance. Oh, that's a new formation. I don't know of any place that I can... I mean, I don't know that I can make enough buildings to make the formation, but it's something to look forward to. Alright. I am so low on potions. Uh, low after a fashion. So these things I don't really care about. Now I want to make weapons and armor and things. If I can. Because then I can take them apart and get shards for improvement. If only I got enough materials. Which, for the most part, I don't. I'm pretty well short on everything. But let's make another capture rope. Yes? I use a lot of them.
よしルグを分解しよう Let's see. I got a couple of broken hammers from before. Hmm. That's right. At the beginning of the chapter, it added on some holy type weapons because we get to be fighting ghosts. Hmm. Extra stuff, extra stuff. You know, since I use capture ropes so often, maybe I should forget about the fighting stuff. But I can't just sell away my good attack equipment. Let's see. Upgrading Katorito stuff. All right, then. Well, this is a start. And boy, there's a bunch of stuff to upgrade. Ah. We were able to make this new sword for eel. And it's holy element, which is going to be awesome. Hmm, I wish I had more holy shards though. Oh, damn! This is that fist type weapon we got rare dropped from the fire lizards in that last one. Ah. Uh, hmm, interesting. And now I'm not really caring, I'm just gonna upgrade everything I can. So I think we're good. Yes. Yes. Sugida. Hmm. What did I build this time? Ah, this is one of Katorito's items. So it's these spiritual disc things. And he shows them to Katorito. So it's this ornament here. And maybe the mask as well? Those weren't on her when we were talking in that last scene. So she observes that they're kind of small and Navarro admits it. And furthermore, the plate parts, do this, and etc, etc. Yeah, she's not going to get you geeking out any more than the rest of your party does, Havaro. In any case, this should help you attack pretty well. And he's made it so that it's easy for you to use. Alright then, thanks. Hmm. This is... Was this some kind of trap we made in order to fight the spirits on some defensive ground later on? In theory, this thing can trap spirits. And if they try to pull free, they, it'll weaken them considerably. That's pretty impressive, but Fia's thinking that she could do that with her power. Well, Fia's power is, on a certain level, also spirit power, and fighting against spirits with it, it could be a bit difficult. Is that so? She feels like she'd be able to do a good job if she put her spirit into it. But look, we're just gonna try it out, okay? 
言われるとやりたくなっちゃうよ。And since he's telling her not to try doing everything herself, she immediately gets the urge to try it herself. Alright, l already. Knock it off. She's so unruly. <laughs> Now what? <laughs> so. Tia's body is burning up for some reason. Now, so, this sensation that's rising up with her, she's realized that Avaro has gotten it on with another girl. But. She needs to interview him. Or something. <laughs> so, Avaro, you had sex with another woman, didn't you? You can't run away. She's certain of it. The. What? Huh. Interesting. Even without him telling you, you get a feel on it already, huh? It does power her up after a fashion. So. But really, do you really have to shout that kind of crap out? <laughs> She's gonna start rumors in the castle about him. Nobody's here? Well, in this particular instance, she's right. But let's get back to the topic. Okay, anyway, if he did have sex with someone else, didn't you give your approval to this? Yes. And she's still getting irritated. Alright, fine. I'm sorry. If it bothers you, I'll stop. Okay, she's not telling him to stop. Just telling him to... Be more open about it? Hell. That's kind of unreasonable. So, does he understand what she's trying to tell him? So, it's about making connections with other girls? Or is that wrong? No, that's not the problem. She told him to go have sex with other girls, so naturally she wouldn't be angry about that. Huh? She seems plenty angry. Okay. In short, if she has to say it. Are you kidding me? Okay, so she told him she could have sex with other girls, but she didn't say that she could have sex that he could have sex with other girls without her involvement. Uh, that's... okay. Uh, well, admittedly she didn't say that.
さあさあ今すぐ私のご機嫌を取りなさい甘く耳元でささやきながらエッチなことでとろけさせて Are you kidding me? Well, not kidding me. So, she demands that she ma he make him her feel better by whispering sweet nothings in her ear and having sex again. Hmm, interesting. This wasn't in my trial run. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Matsumasen. Alright, she is not going to stop. Ha, <laughs> this could be bad. Okay, look, fine. I understand where you're coming from, but listen to what I got to say. A confession of love? Good God! He's already done that. Anyway. He's not going to have sex with her right here and now because it's a bit too sudden, but next time, okay? Sorry that he can't, you know, service you at the drop of a hat here. But he's going to be doing his best in the other areas of our castle here. He's thinking to himself, give me a break. Alright, if Avaro is willing to keep doing, keep having sex with her on a regular basis, she can put up with it. Heh, <laughs> how strange. Oh, here we go. She's asking him to promise to take her on a wonderful date. Hmm, okay, I promise. Next time we get the time, the two of us get to head out. Hmm, wonder what they'll do. So, a goddess is still a girl. Heh. So he's a little bit sorry for her. Oh, detail is still there. But he'll have to wait. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.